myself and two other runners from around the world, one from Brazil and one from France, were invited by Veja to see how the shoe is made, actually from before the shoe was even conceived to running with the shoe on the foot. My name is Leanne Cherick. I am from New York, from Brooklyn in the US. I have been running uh, as an adult. I found it later in life. And I have qualified and ran at the Olympic trials in the marathon in 2020. So running is a big part of my life. Meu nome é Leandro. É, sou de São Paulo. Pratico corrida há mais de 10 anos. E hoje a corrida se tornou um dos principais pilares da minha vida. É uma forma de eu me conectar comigo mesmo. É onde eu consigo ter um pouco de luz para solucionar os meus problemas no meu dia a dia. Je m'appelle Mathieu, je viens de, de Nice, au sud de la France. A course à pied, pour moi, ça reste la liberté. Moi, j'aime bien un peu aller sur tous les terrains, que ce soit long, court, même souvent des trails dans la montagne ou même courir sur du plat et essayer d'aller vite. Je suis très heureux avec le convite de Veja pour faire cette immersion, initiant là en Porto Alegre, pour comprendre comment a été fait tout le développement de ce tennis. I think the one thing that I did know about the company was that it is very big on sustainability and sourcing organic products and that they were really passionate about that. So immediately that's what interested me. E nesse projeto, a Veja colocou toda a pesquisa e o amadurecimento para que esse produto evoluísse, gerando o menor impacto possível ao meio ambiente. For me it was just really important that this was the project that I wanted to do and not just like another brand with an opportunity. This one actually had meaning and so, yeah, that's how I wound up going. And then we went up to the north of Brazil in Acre to see how the rubber is extracted from the tree and to um, live in that community for a few days and see the impact of the deforestation. E durante os dois primeiros dias nós fizemos algumas corridas mais imersivas de fato no meio da floresta. E com o acumulado dos dias, nós fomos conhecendo outros lugares da, da região. Para mim foi muito gratificante quando de fato eu cheguei ali na casa do seu Raimundo, encontrei as pessoas com, com que a gente estava e tive o prazer de ter essa vivência no meio da natureza, onde eu tive bons momentos de tranquilidade no meio da selva, ouvindo os pássaros, ouvindo o som da natureza. And I think that was really really cool to be able to like start at the beginning, go to the factory, go to Acre, see Rogério actually, you know, extracting the rubber. I don't know, it just makes me think 
a lot about like how people view climate change in this crisis. Like, it's not this idea that people are speculating about. The reality of the situation is the Amazon is being deforested every day. And we've seen it now with our own eyes and what the actual impact is in the community. And it just seems really unfair that that's happening because, I mean, and it's not even my community, you know, I don't live there. Um, Jaimundo and Rogerio, like, it's their community. They live there. They've lived there for generations. C'est incroyable de rencontrer ce, ce personnage qui est quand même une figure emblématique hein, sur la protection de la forêt amazonienne. Ben, C'est vraiment touchant de voir des gens comme ça, à, à cet âge-là, encore impliqués, et qui arrivent surtout, je pense, à transmettre ça à leurs enfants, comme euh, Roger Rio. Et euh, les enfants, ils se sentent vraiment impliqués dedans. Et il y a cette transmission de père en fils, pour moi, qui m'a beaucoup marqué. It was that beautiful, it was that massive and expansive and um, wild. It was wild. It wound up being like probably one of the most memorable runs of my life. I'm sure of it. <laughs>